Beautiful evening, beautiful people. Sean Long here with Heather, and we got an unboxing from Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. By the way, I just realized that it looks like Spider Man is shooting at Heather. <laughs> here, let me move that real quick. The Hot Toy Spider Man that we unboxed last time is like right next to the yeah, camera. Yeah, what's your problem with me, man? I'm watching you. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. Um, Man. Reminds me of that moment when Del Toro punched Spider-Man in the face. Oh, I know. In the White Tiger comics. Oh, and yeah. And he, like, came down and started hitting on her, and he, she was like, <laughs> Yes. It's one of my favorite moments. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, I'm really... Anyways. Oh, no, it's all good. I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, we can talk uh, Spider-Man. This is actually, um, if you guys saw the title, um, it, well, actually, it's funny you mentioned Spider-Man. So, there's a couple... Uh, there's two different toy lines in this. Two things I'm very, well, it's a few things I'm excited for, but two different lines. And yo, what's up? So, um, yeah, we had a good dinner. Um, what, what, um, I feel bad. Uh, what did you make tonight, Heather? Uh, Barbish fat. Barbish fat? Nice. It was delicious. It's an Armenian Persian dish, and it was really delicious. We had a good meal. Watched a little bit of YouTube before we started. And wanted to do this live show, you guys, because I'm really excited. This should have come weeks ago. But uh, had some issues with the lady from FedEx and stuff. Oh wow, all the comments in there. Build a figure by itself. Looking cool with the beard. Oh, thank you, the meme channel. Are you an official meme channel? But yeah, but yeah, I'm really excited. By the way, uh, thank you to Big Bad Toy Store being one of my longest running sponsors, even though they had a delay with FedEx, um, which is not their fault, you know, the pandemic and everything. Um, I know this FedEx, I've gotten a couple of things shipped from FedEx and they're, they've taken way longer than the post office. And by the way, support the post office, you know. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited for this because um, it's a line that I'm really excited for. Um, and yeah, we're, we're just gonna open it up. But um, yeah, like uh, anything important that we, oh, um, make sure you register the vote. That's a big thing before I open this up. Um, we're registered the vote. Uh, today was the last day for like a lot of states like Wisconsin and I posted it on my Instagram and um, and Twitter um, if you're 18 and older make sure you guys vote you guys before we talk about toys I just want to make sure you guys are registered to vote because the election is coming up it's on my birthday this year and the biggest birthday present you can do is vote especially vote for change vote for good things and stuff oh it, oh the meme channel Oop, I think you guessed it right man yeah so anything you want to say before we uh, get into it no, let's just, let's just dive in. It is, a, as Phil would say, let's just jump into it. <laughs> and the first uh, thing of awesome today is, yes. So, yeah. Here, I'm going to let you participate. You get this side. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to trust me with a box opener? You know I'm crazy. I know, right? Just joking. <laughs> I'm like Don't the, you know I'm local? I'm like the not crazy girlfriend. I know. I mean, I dealt with, I've had the crazy girlfriend before. I'm the awesome was. girlfriend that oh, would, yes. like, Cook for take me and... care of you. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, so really excited for this. So before we get into what's in these little brown boxes, if you, you can't really see it, but we can. So there's a couple of things I got here that I'm not going to open yet, at least not right now. But um, let's get into the... the big place soon. Okay, well, let's open up the big one. So, wow, this is way bigger than I thought it was. So, here, let me move this here for a second. So, we got Kingpin on the Retro Spider-Man card. Look how big this thing is. Oh, my God. Look at I that. I to see this. Yeah, this is Kingpin. Um, Chardamus Prime, my buddy, has reviewed this so long ago. This has been out for a while. Um, this retails for 30 bucks because this used to, this is a repaint of the Build-A-Figure Kingpin with a new jacket. So it's how he looked in the Spider-Man animated series, which I grew up on. I love that show. And it, this is one of the few things where I want to open it, but I kind of don't at the same time because it just looks so cool. It's, it's based on how I used to collect the 90s figures and that's what it's based on. It, it's supposed to look like the 90s uh, card back with the more articulated modern figures like it's marvel legend but yeah this card back is huge because i also got oh man they put this at the bottom I, i'm surprised they did this because i hopefully this didn't get damaged okay it's fine but i also got mysterio i got a donnie darko figure a bubble boy i got a bubble boy Wait, figure. what 
Oh, no, no, I'm just saying. I he, legit thought you got a Donnie Darko figure, <laughs> and I almost got really excited for a second. I love they, that movie. I know, they need to make a Donnie Darko figure. <gasps> but yeah, this is Mysterio. The reason I said it because Jake Gyllenhaal played Mysterio. And, that's right, yeah. that's right, he did. Yeah. So, I actually, so, the reason I got both of these, because not only do I have Kingpin, I love Kingpin and Mysterio, um, but I missed out on the build a figure Kingpin that came out last year. And then I missed out on Mysterio. This was in the lizard wave, I believe. I actually, big funny story, Big Bad Toy Store, um, the, the initial figure, because this is um, meant to look more like the retro Mysterio, which I actually like these colors. It actually comes with a little effects right here. Um, I missed out on this because I really like the packaging. I know it's amazing. It's it's really hard. Like we we won't open these up in, on camera yet. Um, it's really hard these because these are something that I would probably wouldn't open. I'd put a tack through that. Yeah, and it would be deep. That's what people do. Yeah, they literally collect this line. Uh, they have yeah because they have the other ones here. You can actually get Green Goblin. Um, I, I got Electro, which actually is over there. I got Spider Man, Peter Parker. This thing. It's hard because I love this game pen, but it looks so, it just looks so nice. Like, this is where I totally understand where people want to keep them mint on card. They just look so cool. Like, I, 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 know, I know people that actually collect these because they have the X-Men ones and the uh, uh, Marvel, like the Avengers ones, where they just literally put them on their wall. The, it definitely would take up a lot of wall space, but they look so cool, man. Kane accessory. <laughs> I just love it. it. Says like Kane accessory right there. But yeah, that's what he looked like in the cartoon. That's what I grew up on. Same with Mysterio. He was in the cartoon too. I don't think I. I didn't watch any Spider-Man cartoons when I was younger. Oh, it's on Disney Plus if you ever want to check it out. It's 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 definitely. Oh. I did read a lot of comics though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, me too. Of course, I love Spider-Man. Both in the '90s, I loved Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley Spider-Man. Um, in the 90s, my family couldn't afford cable. Oh, I, I don't blame you. It's cable, man. Cable's expensive, man. And even now, like... In Middle Eastern families, you know mm -hmm. you made it if you got a dishwasher. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Anthony. It's about the beard, man. Yeah, I, I have my hair in a ponytail. It's long enough to be in a ponytail now, so I'm trying to look good and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like... It kind of looked like... um, uh, Well, I did... Funny, funny story, so... I say this, but I've never been on a motorcycle before, but I look like I could be a biker and stuff like that, but never been on a motorcycle. And, and um, a long story, which we won't share, but she's really happy that I'm not like that too. Uh, definitely be safe, wear a helmet, and be safe on motorcycles, you guys. Some people uh, that I love very much were killed on motorcycles. Yeah, so that's why it, it's, it's a... It's a hard subject for me. Yeah, it, it is. Because I see them as dangerous, dangerous machines of death. Yeah. They have... I grew up with motorcyclists as family yeah. members and stuff too, and um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Oh, I know, <laughs> but yeah, like um, yeah, with um, these car bags are just so nice. Like, I really like them. Yeah, because I got that Mysterio one. That's a big. I mean, the Electro one. You you seen it like over there in our kitchen? For a second, I thought it was Iron Fist when I first saw it. Oh yeah, because of the colors. It, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, I know. They actually had uh, an Iron. I think they had an Iron Fist on the retro card. No, I don't think they made him yet, but yeah, they they, they just announced Black Cat uh, today. Well, if they came out with an Iron Fist, that's mm -hmm. one that I would want. Yeah, like I would definitely get that for Danny you. Danny Rand and yeah. Orson Randall. Mm -hmm. and she loves Specifically, on... while she... Iron Fist is probably my favorite comic of all time, mm -hmm. especially the Immortal Iron Fist series. Oh, yeah. It's genius. The artwork was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. I... Yeah, Iron Fist, hopefully, I'll let you know what they do in Iron Fist. Like, they've done a bunch of Iron Fist figures, but not in this packaging yet, not in the retro ones. But I'll let you know, because that would definitely be something I would get for you to hang on the wall. But yeah, these are so beautiful. Like, part of me, like, I want to open them, but not right now. It's kind of like, I'll figure that out later on. But right now, I'm going to keep them on the cards. They look so cool. This one's 30 bucks, and that one's about a little over 20 Get them at Big Bad Toy Store. They also have Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, Daredevil, and Electro. I have uh, Electro. I haven't gotten Gwen Stacy or Peter Parker or Spider-Man because I have so many of those. The Green Goblin I want to get to. Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. So, yeah, these are awesome. If you want to see reviews of them, go to Charmus Prime channel because he did amazing reviews on both of them. Charmus also 
uh, is taking a little break right now because he broke his hand on his birthday. If you've seen in his videos, he, uh, if you, you guys have seen Troy Miss's videos and you've seen his hand. So he's taking a little break right now to recover. So give him a little break. Let me how to always Commander Cody. Oh no, I don't have Commander Cody. Uh, it hasn't been released in the States yet. It's been released um, overseas. But I am, I love Commander Cody, but I don't know if I'm going to pick that up. If I'm going to get any Clone War, I'm gonna, probably going to get the Clone Wars, Ahsoka, and Darth Maul, and Captain Rex. I, I like Captain Rex more than Commander Cody, but that's a whole different thing. So these are awesome. These look so cool. You can actually stand them up too, which is awesome. They're really nice. Like, I just, mm, look so good. I just love that Spider-Man logo. That's the classic um, Spider-Man cartoon logo. Like, he, he was on the uh, logo right there. So, yeah. There's some, there's some comic books that mm -hmm. have that oh, yeah. Spider-Man logo. Actually, what we can do, we can actually put the... Comics were my cartoons, because mm -hmm. I didn't... My family couldn't afford cable. Oh, yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay, sweetie. Like, like, that's what's so great about Disney Plus now. You can, like, watch all that stuff now on your own before. I I'll watch some of it, but I yeah. still don't really watch a whole lot of TV. Oh, it's all good. That's a good thing. You don't want to be like a lot of us that were raised on this and then buy all this stuff. So here's the thing that I'm really excited for. This stuff I will open. So we have four of these figures. And what could these figures be? I'm waiting for Chitara to go play with that box here in a moment. So we got the Thundercats Classics figures. Yes, we got Lino. We got Jacko Man. We got Mumra. And we got Panthro. So... Story about Super 7 does these figures. No story about it, and like explain it to you as well, as well as everyone that doesn't know this. These figures were originally um, released by Mattel back in at least like I think 2016. So it's been a, quite a bit of years. Mattel had the license for Thundercats, and then they were, they they made a subscription because they did that. You know all my He-Man figures and all that stuff that are in there. They did Masters Universe Classics because Mattel owned He-Man. That's their, their baby. And then they um, they decided, uh, they had a thing called Manny Collector, which was a collector website that you can get these figures. And they're, they're sculpted by the Four Horsemen. There are four guys that are amazing sculptors. You'll see here in a second. Um, and I was, I talked about it way back in the day in my old podcast. I would love to see four horsemen sculpted Thundercat figures. And when these were released, I was like, oh my God, yes. And I had this subscription because you had to do a subscription to get these figures where you had to uh, pay um, like every month for a new figure to come out every month. And it was, they had a wave and these were the first figures in the wave. However, literally a, a couple months after they revealed this and they had the subscription going, the line was canceled. So Thundercats has had I, Thundercats is one of the most meaningful. Um, um, See, I, I've never even heard of it. Oh yeah, Thundercats is like people know um, Transformers, uh, He-Man, GI Joe, Ninja Turtles. Thundercats was one of my big ones. Thundercats, I I, I met a lot of the Thundercat voice actors, including the people, um, uh, a couple of people that voiced these characters that were about to open. I, I grew up on Veggie Tales. Oh yeah, Veggie Tales is awesome too. That's uh, about it. But Thundercats, um, and, and you'll see here, like in a second, I, I'm gonna show off some of my my other Thundercat figures. Wait, Sean, your girlfriend looks like she doesn't care. Oh, look, she cares. I'm just <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> we're both a little tired, you guys. We're trying to do the show before we go to bed. We have to be <laughs> up early, and that's why we're trying to like, we don't want to get through this show, but we're at the same time we are. We've had a long day, both of us. She's worked. I had to go pay rent and go uh, take... Yeah, I worked eight hours yeah. today. Yeah. And, and I started and she cooking at eight o'clock this morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Maximum Venom way. The fan sounds loud. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. The fan's like... Well, actually, it's, yeah, I'm so sorry if it's a little loud. It's a little bit warm today. It's going to finally cool down here. Um, and plus, we have all these bright lights. You, it's hard to do these live shows when you have to have all these lights on you and it gets really hot and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, so Thundercats um, is one of my childhood um, favorite um, series. And sadly, you'll see here these figures. So, um, and I'll, I'll compare them in a moment. They haven't, 
had a big resurgence that there was a like with with transformers has had a new series like for decades like uh they they're constantly in the in the spotlight um uh, he-man got a new series in 2003 and then she just got one on netflix and now he-man's coming back on netflix next year uh produced by kevin smith who i love um i love kevin smith too. oh yes i'm really excited for that one he's, Excellent. he's one of my heart attack heroes oh i know. You know he had his heart attack like three months after mine yeah that's crazy and then he lost all that weight and he's vegan now and he looks amazing i'm so proud of him yeah me too mm -hmm. and um so um ninja turtles has been, constantly has a new series um gi joe so thundercats have one series which um will fredell um Eric from Boy Meets World, and he also voices Ron Unstoppable. He was uh, Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Uh, he voiced Lino, and that was a great series, but sadly that got canceled after one season. Um, so Thundercats, um, and I'll show here too, the Bandai had the license. They made some classic Thundercat figures, which I'll show here in a second. Those got canceled. And Why then, did they keep canceling them? Thundercats has had, it's been a hard th time, it's been hard to be a Thundercats fan. Thundercats is popular, but not as popular as Transformers and Ninja Turtles. Like Ninja Turtles, like, you know, when we go, th this stuff isn't sold in, in, um, in stores. This is online only stuff. You can only buy this online. You won't, you, you don't see any Thundercats stuff in stores. Thundercats, I don't know if it's just because it's very 80s, like, because they're alien cat people or something, but I've seen other things be popular. I don't know. Thundercats, it's it, it's near and dear to my heart, but I know it's not as popular as Transformers or Ninja Turtles and everything. So this line, and the reason I get to that, this line, I, bit, Maddie Collector, especially with Lino, Lino was supposed to be the first figure. They, they made a, the, the line got canceled after the first wave and I was supposed to get a Lino and they didn't ship it out to me. There was some issue with my card or something and they never shipped it to me. And then they, they, they said the line was canceled and I was so upset. I was just like, you know what, Thundercats, man. And that was already after these figures were canceled. I just felt like Thundercats was cursed and we we're never gonna get good Thundercats figures. And I just, I, I just kept my vintage figures and I was just like, I just accepted that Thundercats aren't gonna do that. But Super 7 stepped up they finally they're not this is the first wave they have four waves or actually five waves in the works right now they're going to finally get the complete team it it's been a hard time to be a thundercats fan but super seven is really stepped up and let me show you why so now we get to why so let me show you guys something and this is a little thing and i'll compare this when i actually open this is the the vintage line of figure this is from my childhood this is what back it's, in nineteen. It's like a He-Man figure yeah. with a head of a different. Yeah, they were they He-Man and Thundercats were compared a lot because they were muscular, sword wielding um, characters. Yep. So that's lying. Looks like they use the same parts for them, like the yep. same molds. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, exactly. So this Bandai. <laughs> He's got jerk off. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bandai America. Do you guys remember this one? This came out in two thousand and. Um, 11 uh <laughs> yeah this was bandai america they made this figure this was a the first time we got an updated so this guy's the same with this guy yep oh this one's way better oh yeah yeah this came out in 2011 does he got the oh but he doesn't got the karate chop action like buzz lightyear yeah <laughs> exactly and then they <laughs> then they made um they this was an eight inch scale then they a couple like months later they made a six inch scale with a different head Oh, I like that. I know. So these were the best Lino figures you can get at the time until Thunder, 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 Thundercats. Oh, the super sculpted by the four horsemen. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. I know. Yeah, that's awesome. And it comes, oh, it comes with both heads. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is called the Thundercats Ultimate Lion. So they took So the, is that like an arm he took off somebody or can you put that on him? No, you can put that on him. That's his claw shield. 
it's it's oh i'm seeing that now mm -hmm. okay yeah he uses it as like uh to hold his uh, sword of omens because the sword gets bigger when he goes like thunder 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 cast ho oh! and so it and he comes with a journal yeah <laughs> yes yes that's the book of omens Oh, I feel such. I feel so dumb. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I've never heard of this show before. No, so. it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's it's not even the most popular '80s cartoon out there. But I'm so excited, you guys. You have no idea. So I'm gonna show you the character. So we, from that to this, we'll we'll do a comparison here in a moment. But um, I love the box they do. Look how beautiful that is. I love. I have a shirt of the Thundercats logo. I really love the Thundercats logo. I always loved cats, so Thundercats was always near and dear to my heart. Like Chitara, my my orange tabby is named after Chitara from Thundercats. So I'm gonna show you Panthro, who he was the 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 muscle slash uh, oh weapons tech of the Am Thundercats. I modeling it for you? Yes, you are modeling. So now we got Thundercats. Oh, <laughs> so this is Panthro. Oh, this guy's cool. Oh, yeah. He, he reminds me of Abe Sapien, but, like, different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Panther, he he had nunchucks, too, which this has a real metal chain, which is awesome. Um, and he he created all, like, the Thunder Tank, and he created all these awesome weapons for the Thundercats, but he also was, like, yeah, he he's a, one of my favorite characters, too. Yeah, this one's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Oh, yeah. By the way, unlike those retro... Look at all the accessories. Those oh, I know. are so cool. They come with tons of accessories. And then let's get into Jackal Man, one of the bad guys. So there's two bad guys and two good guys in this wave. So is he like, is he like a bat human? Oh, no, he's he's a panther human. Panthro, get it? Oh, it's just the ears threw me off. Yeah. He's a... They're all based on cats. Lino, lion, panthro, pan, a panther, chitara, a cheetah. Uh, tiger, tiger, uh, wily kid, wily cat. So yeah, jaga, a jaguar. Yeah, that's all a play on words. Yep, I have a, I had a VHS tape with that original Thundercats art. I, I miss that man. VHS tapes? Mm-hmm. Those were the days. I know. So now into Jackal Man. These are, these were available at the Super Seven Store, but you can get this whole wave right now at BigBadToysStore.com. So. Jackal I really Man. like this one. Oh yeah. I've never even seen the cartoon. This is Jackal Man. He's oh, one of the bad guys. I love that. You know, I always gravitate towards the bad guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And that's the uh, Mumra oh, and, symbol. And it's snake eyes. Mm -hmm. I just love these box leaves, man. So cool. And, and then the snake eyes stand for tranquility. Mm -hmm. Peace, mm -hmm. fertility, oh, abundance. Man. That's awesome. See? Transcendence. We're learning more stuff, you guys. She's very wise woman. Mm -hmm. And then the last but not least, the big bad of them all in his mummy form, because there's two versions of him. Mumra. Not the ever living, but his mummy mode. I'm modeling them. <laughs> I love it. Okay, this one's badass. Yeah. Sorry for my. This my was the original toy ways. right there. I know. <laughs> Compared to this one. Yeah, and look at this Jack. This is um, this is this is cool. Oh, I know. That's this the original so Jackal cool. Man and the original Panther. These are my. They're not my actual original ones. I rebought these figures like probably 15 years ago or so, maybe less. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. I know. That's cute. Oh, they all got that action yep. going. That was the thing in the 80s, man. So, we've come a long way, you guys. All I could think of is you can go if you want <laughs> Yes. No. Exactly. Out. I know, right? Yeah, that's why, like, they have such big guns and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love my Hero Academia, man. So, this is this. Wait. Wait, wait until you see My Hero Academia, you'll love it. Oh, yeah. Um, definitely check out My Hero Academia. That anime is amazing. You would love it, too. Leave them in package. Do you guys read the Bible? Oh, that's a that's a good question, Jack. I mean, Heather, do you want to... You can answer it. Um, I study the Bible of many different religions. Yeah. I'm actually... 
I keep myself spiritually educated. Mm -hmm. It's understanding all religions is a way to be transcendent. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, oh, and also. Yeah, I'm very knowledgeable of the Bible. Yeah, I used to read the Bible back when I was Catholic, but not anymore. I'm not Catholic anymore. Um, Also, they asked you, um, I don't know any other languages. I know a little bit of Spanish and Tagalog, very little, but Heather knows quite a bit. Yeah, I speak several different languages. Mm -hmm. Yes, many different. Um, English isn't even my first language. So crazy how far we've come. (laughs) I know, this is... I love this one. I know. He comes with a cloth and a plastic. You know, one of my favorite um, mm-hmm. adaptations of like zombie characters or whatever, whether it's mm-hmm. comics or cartoons, are always when they are blue. Oh, yeah. I love blue. I was really attracted to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the toy looks more like greenish blue, but you know, he's really blue. petrified people mm-hmm. really do turn blue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I like that they made the color. So, Heather, which do you think we should open up first? really like this one where's my girlfriend from uh well like you're from all over uh where do you you want to say oh i um i'm from all over the place mm-hmm. i am not from one particular place i was raised by gypsies mm-hmm. but my family are from armenia and lebanon yeah yeah definitely guys um Definitely uh, support what's going on in Armenia. I, I share, we both shared it on yeah. our Instagrams and Twitter. Armenians are under attack in Artshank by <laughs> Azerbaijani terrorists, pretty much, that want to eradicate the Armenian people from their homelands. Yeah. It's in the, they are trying to continuate the genocide of the Armenian people, mm-hmm. and it's a really serious thing that's happening. And so, definitely research that. Oh, yeah definitely um yeah and um yeah so we're both very multicultural i I was born in san jose but my mom is a filipino immigrant my dad was born in dallas texas but he moved here um when he was like only like two years old so he's mostly a californian even though he lived in texas when he was uh but culturally Mm -hmm. sean is actually spanish syrian and Mm -hmm. filipino yep exactly Oh man, which one should we open up first? This one. Okay, can I throw it for sure? I love this one, he's so right. sexy. So, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll compare it here, but yeah, this was the vintage Panther figure. By the way, I'm selling all these um, old ones to you guys because it's kind of like out with the old, in with the new, because um, if I only collected Thundercats, I'd probably keep every incarnation, but I, I have way too much stuff. And uh, so, but yeah, look how far we've come, you guys. 1985-2020. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, so look at the beautiful box. One thing I like about these, unlike the Marvel Legends, you can actually open these up, take them out of the packaging, and put them back in the packaging if you wanted to. So you can display them in package and take them out and play with them and put them back. Because once you open these up, you ruin the cards. That's the only bad thing. I love... Mm-hmm this one this is my favorite one out of all of them oh yeah mumra is amazing he's the is big he daddy a good guy or a bad guy bad guy yeah of course. of course i always gravitate towards the bad guys oh yeah it's all good because people of my culture that i'm attracted to are always portrayed as the bad guys exactly i'm the bad guy what <laughs> i just think of billy eilish um but yeah one thing i love about this look at that beautiful artwork i had the uh, old school uh, VHS that had this exact same artwork. I love that. Um, can you give me a word of wisdom? Oh, Heather wants a word. Jack, can you give, um, oh, Heather, can you give Jack a word of wisdom? That's what he's saying. Always be present. Be present with yourself, how you're feeling, Mm -hmm. whatever emotion that you're feeling, allow yourself to feel it and express Mm -hmm. it. Live your life at a state of existence within yourself, being humble, Mm -hmm. which means don't dwell on the past or the future. Live in the present. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I love how you say that while at the wind, the fans blowing you. You look so like, wow. It's like, (laughs) it's like, uh, it it was amazing. Um, Heather, can I buy you a drink? Uh, Jack is saying (laughs) Yeah. As long as it's a virgin Bloody Mary. That's what she loves. Yeah. Because uh, I'm allergic to alcohol. Oh, yeah. Me, me too. Both of us, we, we, we don't drink alcohol. Um, 
going back to the Thundercats because someone asked me, um, who asked me, uh, Mofferdam. Um, I, yeah, I, re I reviewed and collected 2011 figures. I, they're on my channel. I, I reviewed a bunch of Thundercat stuff years ago. I haven't in a long time, but I'm really excited to open these up. Oh, Anthony loves the Bloody Marys. Yes. Um, one thing, um, about each of these and before we open up each of them, they have a little bio. I'm going to read them to you. So before we open up Panthro, Panthro is the symbol of Thundercat strength and wisdom and pilot of all the Thundercat vehicles and unequal, uh, unequaled master of martial arts, meditation and mechanics. He is strong, brilliant and funny, though his use of the nunchucks make him a deadly adversary. Panthro's enemies fear and respect him. Okay, the fact that he's a master martial artist makes him even more sexier than I thought. Oh yes, definitely. So uh, here, let's open up Panthro. I love this box art. So, and it says Ultimates. Mm -hmm. um, as my buddy Robo from The Fuse would say, it's Thundercats Ultimates. He always does that every time he talks about them. I love this box, man. It's like, I'm definitely probably going to keep these boxes and stuff. By the way, look at this. He comes with a effect, um, the spinning of Nunchuck. Isn't that okay, freaking cool? Okay, that's pretty freaking rad. I know. And extra hands and stuff, of course, oh, too, yeah. which you couldn't even see. Oh, I know. That's cool. I love that. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. So before I hand them off to you, just look at this, you guys. Look how far we've come. 1985, 2020. Or this figure did come out in like 2016, but they updated him. He looks absolutely amazing. Look at like the differences. Look how far we've come. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one is like a... Uh, Oh yeah, his bicep is like backwards. <laughs> his arm. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah, just oh yeah, there you go. You move that around. I know it was like put on there backwards. So yeah, let me. Um, he comes with quite a bit of accessories. So much cool stuff. See, you see me? I'm mm -hmm. the master of martial arts. Oh yes. I love his spike the, um, suspenders. It's so cool. I like that too. Mm -hmm. I um, I think this is my second favorite one. Oh yeah. I so, kind of am interested in seeing the cartoon. Oh yeah, it's on Hulu. Both the 1985 and 2011 cartoon are on Hulu. So if you guys have Hulu and you want to check out Thundercats and stuff, how much do you think Commander Cody will be in California? I think he's going to be around 265 bucks. I think. Yeah, from Saichu so Flexible. Put him in a martial arts pose. Oh yeah, we're going to, yes. So any Panther comes with two heads. Now, when the figure initially came out from Mattel, it only came with one head. So now that Super Seven has the line, they have get they get each character an extra head. I love this one. I love mm -hmm. his I love his fangs. Mm-hmm. And one thing that's really cool, just like in the cartoon, Panther comes with goggles. That you can actually put over him. <laughs> mm -hmm. He comes with like a little TNT detonator See, thing. Like, they don't even, it doesn't even have to be that they came from a cartoon. I would just freaking play with these things. I know, right? They're amazing. I'm going to be really disappointed if we don't start doing stop motion videos on we, your channel. We, we definitely will, we you like, guys. We, I want to play with your toys. I know, we will. He comes with a wrench. I want to build like mm -hmm. sets for oh, yeah. them and backgrounds. Oh yeah, we we're going to we're gonna have some. Play with them. We're gonna have a great time. He comes with a cool little welding gun. So why does he have a wrench? Does he fix things? Yeah. Or... Remember he just said he's the. Um, he just said on those bottle right there too. He he is a pilot of all the Thundercats vehicles, master martial arts, meditation, and mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the guy that builds all the, he built the fender tank, uh, helped build the cat's lair, um, their, their base. So he's like a weapons expert as well as martial artist. He's like, first I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna fly you to mm -hmm. your vehicle yeah. where I will fix your car and then I'm gonna you up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he comes with a cool little communicator. These were all things that didn't come with the original figure, by the way. 
that's really detailed too. Mm -hmm. I love it when they put all that extra attention on the little details. And this was a, a key, I forgot what this was. This was like a key from, the, I forgot the Thunder Tank or something like that. But yeah, it's like a little key with the Thunder Castle logo on it. It's so cute. Be careful with that. It's really, if you have one of these or you're thinking of getting one, be careful with this key. It's really pliable and probably is very easily breakable. Yep. Yeah. Then he comes with his awesome nunchucks. I love these nunchucks. The blue and red, like hand nunchucks with a real metal chain. It's cool. It is. It's like not even that cheap light metal either it's pretty mm -hmm. it's pretty heavy oh i know it's pretty nice yeah these uh retail for about 50 bucks but i think they're well worth it especially being an online exclusive and then he comes with part of his nunchuck because the coolest accessory ever he comes with some extra hands too but let me show this is hands down the besides the extra head the best accessory he comes with if you guys know the NECA Michelangelo figure, because they're both chuckers, um, you can you use the blue nunchuck part, and it has a spinning nunchuck effect, and you can actually put it on here, have him hold it like he's spinning his nunchucks. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Then he comes with some extra hands. His nunchucks have hands on them, like they're mm -hmm. really gonna pull up. I know, right? I I am, he's like, I ain't playing. I got claws on my nunchucks. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. If you want me to put, um, yeah, here, I'll put the accessories over here. But yeah, Panthro is amazing. I love Panthro. He's one of my favorite Thundercat members. Um, besides, like, Lino and Chitara. I'll have to wait till wave three so for Chitara. So he's a good guy then? Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> Finally, a good guy that I actually like. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like he's... It's like he's trying, it's like an umbrella at the same time, too. Mm -hmm. Everybody is, needs some shielding from the sun or it's raining out. And he's like, bro, I got you guys. I know, right? It's like, look at my nunchucks move at the speed of light, bro. <laughs> yes. I'll make a barrier umbrella. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this other head is cool, too. I like it. Oh, I know. And it also it makes it look even more like a sun umbrella because he's got goggles on that look like sunglasses oh yeah exactly trying to consolidate space and putting them back in the box i'm going to save these boxes because they're just so nice isn't that so awesome he's like bro you're going to take me out and then put me back in <laughs> no you're staying out i'm just putting the boxes in the boxes so we don't have all this wasted space that is so cool oh yeah thundercats are loose Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Oh, and he stands with it. Oh! I know, right? It's so awesome, you guys. It's so cool. I like the goggles, but I want to show off that face. Or do you want me to put on the extra head? Yeah, the head's cool. Yep. Hold on a sec. Actually, this hand is more of his open hand. You actually want to put his, like... I know. Yeah, it's all good. We'll put that one here in a sec. But that was my only option at the moment. Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, we got to show uh, you took my head off. So they all have basically the same articulation. Uh, Mumra has a little bit, so I'm just going to show the articulation is the same for all of them. Here, hold this real quick. Um, it's pretty much, Sean, are you big on music theory? Yes. I need to study it more, though. So they're just like the Masters of the Universe classics figure, so you know what to expect. Heads can fully rotate, can go up and down a little side pivot. Arms fully rotate, they go in and out, rotate at the bicep. Uh, single jointed elbows rotate the wrists and go in and out. Does have the ab crunch forward and back, a nice waist joint. Even when his little outfit, he can still move. It's a separate piece on the belt. Um, Sean, can I be your drummer? Sure, Jack. Um, we'll definitely, we, even, we can do a Zoom band one day. Uh, Legs to go forward and back. They go in it. He can do the splits. He's a martial artist. Got to do the splits. He can bend single joint at the knee. And his ankles can pivot forward and back. Can you splits and he, the other way? Um, almost. He's like, I'm a ballerina. I know. Oop. You know, oop. <laughs> He's uh, definitely thunder crack. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But yeah, here, um, let's put his... 
Can we fit this in here? They should, yep. They, the hands are pretty pliable, so you can, oop, all right. It's like, watch me scratch my back. <laughs> I know, I know, right? Scratch his own back, right? So. Yeah, that's way different than this one. That is awesome. It kind of looks like a Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing, be careful because, like, you got to make sure to put it in the hand. It might move around. This thing's a little bit heavy, but it works out really good. I'm really happy for you. I guess the night is darkest before I had to go through a lot of bad relationships before you enter an amazing one. Amen, brother. We both feel the same way. Yeah, you can even have it like this, so it's kind of like he's spinning in front of it. Yeah, this thing, you just have to make sure it's like in deeply in. Yeah, it works out real good. Here, you play with Panther while I open up. Mumra, yeah. But yeah, you guys, 19, 1985 to that. So we've come a long way, you guys. I love it. He comes with so much accessories, too. So let's open up Mumra. Is it weird that I'm attracted to an action figure? No. I, I think all of us are guilty about that. He is sexy. I know. That is a sexy Look at all the artificial yeah. man. I know, right? And we got Mumra. And he comes with a uh Oh, that's Yeah. <laughs> love it. So we got I love it. So we got two options for Mumra. We got a plastic cape or we got a cloth cape and it's and the cape has wire shirt in yep. it so it can be posed yep exactly oh so you, that's amazing here what do you think what do you like better the plastic or the cloth totally the cloth yeah we'll is, definitely do the this cloth. is still pretty dope this oh, is an homage to the old toy i bet yep oh yeah because look yeah look how far we've come 1985 mumra that came with the the uh, Mumra's Tomb playset. This was all exclusive to that, to like what we got now. Never, yeah. We've come quite a long way, you guys. A Sean long way. Ah. You're such a dork. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm glad you caught that. <laughs> I love you. A <laughs> Sean long way. Yep. He just does that all the time, you guys. Oh, I know. All, like... all my friends are, are sick of it. We're not sick of it. Yeah. We got the Book of Omens. Comes with Mumra also. It's just the thing is, is like, <laughs> you say it often, though. I don't ever expect it, though. Oh, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Mumra comes with a cool little chalice. I forgot what this is from. I have to rewatch the cartoon, but yeah. Just one, one simple pose, and he looks like he's contemplating taking your life. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is pretty cool. And like the Book of Omens. A different Book of Omens the book of battlements mm -hmm. i guess so and you can put on his little necklace i forgot what the he comes with a little necklace thing that you can put on Ooh, it actually has a yeah it has a little symbol on there too i actually and he comes with an extra head which is amazing open mouth head just looks so freaking cool We'll probably switch it to that head. I like that smell. Yeah. Love that new toy smell. And then he comes with the hilt of the Sword of Plunder. Uh, the, the big Mumra, the ever-living version that will be coming out in the next wave, will have this. This becomes a sword. Oh, that's cool. But when, even though he doesn't come with the full sword, he comes with his staff. I love the open one. Yeah. Because, like... I don't know, this this figure is like, he's sexy, but this one's adorable. I know, right? He, he's kind of like your grandpa that you just like, aw, you're cute grandpa. He's like, oh, no, I'm not cute, you little whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a... like, oh, I'll just say whippersnapper makes you even more cute. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yeah, Luna is like already playing in the box right now. And then oops, he's got his awesome staff. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty dope staff. I 
if I've ever seen that. That is amazing. That's that's yeah. And then he comes that's with a, that's amazing. I'm like. And he comes with some extra hands. That's awesome. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I know, right? This is my figure. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what's so great about dating. You know, you get we get to share each other's toys. So this is Mumra's uh, bio. Mumra is the Thundercat's evil adversary, mummified and otherwise weak. He is energized and made immortal as a servant to the spirits of evil, who grant him magical and transformative powers to carry out their wicked uh, bidding. So yeah, love it. Anyone got cookies? I say the milks. Oh, <laughs> you know, the milks included what? Are you trying to make a sexual window window? What the heck? Can you do Sean Long intro with the figures? Uh, what up, Thundercat fans? Is Sean Long here? Of, uh, uh, well, I would say uh, BKBN.net or SeanXLong.com or whatever. So I haven't done one of those in a long time. Let's, um, in a second here, we'll put on Mumra's. Um, uh, we're going to switch out. Because even though the plastic one looks good, I definitely want the cloth one. Oh, yeah, I want to play with this. Yeah. Because there's, when, when before Mumra turns into his super buff, winged um, mummify or ever living, when he's like in his mummy mode, like he does this like ancient spirits of evil transport this decayed form to Mumra the ever living. Oh crap! I forgot to put the. Oh hey Chitara, well, Luna's in there if you want to play with her. That's what you can buy cats all that the toys. That is one sexy pimp stick though. Look at it. I know, right? That looks awesome. That's probably the, the, the sickest cane I've ever seen with any character oh, ever. Yeah. Exactly. Not just an action figure, but I mean like in movies, all of it. That is so freaking cool. Oh, I know. I love it. The detail on it. It's pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Four Horsemen sculpted all these figures. They are amazing sculptors. Real, very well renowned in the toy community. I met the guys. They're really awesome dudes. So how exactly do you get this off oh, of him? I here. don't want to jack anything up. Here, let me show before we take it off. So one last comparison real quick. 1985 Mumra. Uh, 2020 Mumra or 2016. This figure originally was the subscription figure. When you subscribe to the Thundercats Maddie Collector uh, subscription, you got this as the uh, exclusive figure. So a lot of people, if you bought the figures like, um, if you only bought them like the day of before they sold out, you wouldn't be able to buy this figure unless you bought the subscription. So this was a little bit more harder to come by. So yeah. So. You can see when he has the plastic uh, robe, uh, cape, it looks nice. Some people prefer plastic looks. It is a rubbery plastic, so, but I prefer the cloth cape, so, um, and we're gonna take it off here, yeah, so. there's wire shirt all up in this, around, around the face. Yeah, I love that head back. sculpt. Look at that head sculpt, it's absolutely amazing. It looks so good. Mumra just has such a cool design. I mean, his name is Mumra, so yeah, of course, if you love mummies like I do, then you'll and love... And if you, um, you know, believe in Ra, mm -hmm. you know what Ra is? Oh, Ra is um, the uh, spirit, right? The, uh, the ray of the sun. Yeah, the ray of the sun, yeah. So, let me show you Mumra. I love this. Oh, I know, right? He, it's like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> so this is what Mumra looks like underneath. He's a full-on mummy. He is articulated, so his head, and he has these nice bandages that are all around him. You can rotate his head. Yeah, because all the other figures have the same articulation. Mumra is a little bit different. His head is pretty uh, nicely articulated. His arms can rotate, but they are all attached to all these bandages. So the band, the bandages are all attached, but you can... He can still put his arms out. They're long enough where they won't hinder it. So you can see that's pretty awesome. They, the arms rotate, uh, go in and out. He bends 90 degrees at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, rotates to the wrist, go in and out. He does have, uh, he doesn't have a, uh, um, oh, uh, what's it called? A uh, diaphragm, not a diaphragm, um, uh, ab crunch. He only has a waist joint, but that's not bad. He's not really, he's not supposed to be 
he he's very weak in this mode so uh he's not he, he's not like gonna be doing any crazy poses his legs do go forward and back he can do the splits which is awesome um he does uh no uh, upper leg art um thigh cut he does bend at the knee uh, almost 90 degrees and his ankles can pivot forward and back and he has the ankle pivot side to side and look at those toes Charnamus Prime would love those toes yeah look at those beautiful toes so do you want to put this head on yeah but I'm thinking mm -hmm. that with the way that this is I think that you're supposed to put this on and then the head yeah that's what I'm gonna do so let's take off the head let's oop. <laughs> this is so fun I know right I'm so glad you'd be a part of this. So you put that, then you... Oop, oh, on. Put this here. Oop. Oop, almost. There we go. And yeah. Now you can make him look like... You can bend this part too. Yep, that's what you do. That is so awesome. Yeah, I prefer this look because in the cartoon he would do this. He'd be like, ancient spirits of evil. He would do totally like that. So yeah, that is awesome. That's how I would want to display Mumra. Well, there's pimp stick, right? Oh yeah, you can do that too, yep. Pimping all those immortal homes. Mm -hmm. I love the, that he has an articulated cape. This is probably- I love look, the cane. The cane and the cape are my are the Look best how parts. cool that is. That is just awesome. I love that. Mm-hmm. Bring one side up a little bit more like it's really catching wind. Bend it nice and weird. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Work on that bend. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Oop. Um, I know, I'm playing with Panther while you're playing with Mumra. Yeah, I love these figures. I mean, I um, I know, like, the He-Man figures are very, are the same type of bodies, and they're the same sculptors, so it's this is kind of like a brother-sister line, like a sister line to the um, Masters of the Universe classics, but yeah, it it's just so awesome, you guys. Like I said, from this to that that is just like night and day yeah that's ridiculous compared to this one yep almost 40 years difference like 35 year difference right there in figures look how far we've come in 35 years yeah yeah all right which one should we we'll save Lino for last because he's always the leader let's do jackal man next so jackal man let me read his story Loyalty is very important to Jackal Man. Unfortunately, he's only loyal to himself. Um, as a member of the mutants, enemies of the Thundercats, Jackal Man leads the Jackal Men, a group of humanoid jackals from the planet Plundar. Jackal Man's real name is uh, Kanar, and regardless of his name, there's no question that this scavenger is conniving coward whose intentions can never be trusted except when it comes to him using any means possible to destroy the thundercats oh jeez <laughs> i know right yep don't trust the jackals oh man look at these figures look how cool that is sweetie yeah i love him i know you can actually kind of if you put a makeshift body you can kind of do this <laughs> you have an extra figure right there it's kind of like he's a ghost well, more of a ghost than he is. He's, uh, He's mum, astral projecting. Astral projecting Mumra. That's pretty cool. You can actually, if you, yeah, you can, yeah, you can have it like a. He's kind of like Cloak from Cloak and Dagger. <laughs> I love it. Cloak you, and Dagger, like figure. the nightclub in LA. Oh no no, um, they were characters. Literally, they're a, a biracial couple. Um, where one has the power of darkness, one has the power of light. Um, he literally is just like. He, he can like he, he's just like a giant cape that can move through uh things and he's like transparent and interesting and then his uh girlfriend dagger can use a uh, light to create weapons like daggers it's pretty awesome they actually had the series on um freeform they made it to like a teen, teen romance drama 
But yeah, they're they actually were they helped Spider Man in the Maximum Carnage storyline. Why is it always about teenage romance? Like teenagers need to be worrying about going to school, not about romancing nobody. I know, seriously. But maybe I'm just a bit old fashioned. We both are in that event. So here's Jacko Man. And his body is, is the furry body. He really got that smell. I know, right? That new toy, new paint, new plastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the smell of that paint. I know, right? I'm a doll artist, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. So that's why I really appreciate these things and smell them. Oh, yeah. And he comes... This was one of the original figures. I actually had the Mattel Jackal Man, but I actually sold it when I, the line got canceled and I didn't get my line now. And I didn't want to pay like a whole bunch of money because on, on eBay, people were selling the line now. It was only like a $30 figure and they were selling it for like, for like a hundred something dollars. And because I was so heartbroken with the line being canceled, I sold my, I had Jackal Man and Panthero. Those were the only figures they sent to me. I never got my Mumra. It was just, it was such bull. Yeah. But I'm happy to have these figures now. And look at that Jackal Man head sculpt, you guys. This is the second one. Oop. And this one is absolutely amazing. Both, both of them are amazing. Yeah, this one is like the more ferocious one. Oh, I like that. I know. So he comes with a, a few different weapons. His original club, which actually has a little spike on it, so it's a play on on that. Look at how far we've come, right? Oh yeah, totally. It's like no comparison. <laughs> Getting clubbed with that thing. I know, right? <laughs> He's going clubbing, you know. That's not. What is love? You don't get knocked Baby out with this. You get me. you get knocked into your next life with this. I this know, is so. gonna puncture your skull and. I know, right? Comes with some extra pants. So he comes with extra hands. And he comes with some blasters. Like, because if you wanted to, which would be expensive, you could buy a whole bunch of these and army build the Jackal Man because they all look like him. And. Yeah, you he kind of reminds me. See, like, it's hard to see him as a bad guy because he looks so sweet and adorable. Like real jackals. Yeah. You remember that movie, Small Soldiers? Yes. He looks like one of the, um... Yeah, the... The, the Gorgonites. Yeah, the ones that were the bad main, guys. The, but... main, the main Gorgonite. Mm -hmm. Yes. The ones that were supposed to be the baddies, but they're really not. I mean, the yeah. soldiers were. Yeah. Total metaphor, by the way. Exactly. About people destroying indigenous people and whatnot. Exactly. Love that movie. That's one that I actually did get to watch as a kid, too. Nice. We had it on VHS, and I watched it a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. God, I love that Mumra. And yeah, he comes with a little blast um, blaster pistol. Really love these well, He's weapons. got different articulation than these ones. Like, yeah. Look at how his legs twist. Oh, I know. Yeah, th well, yeah, these ones, yeah, they have that's great cool. articulation. Pretty cool guns, huh? Yeah, those are pretty cool. And then he also comes with more guns. He comes with like three different guns. Pretty cool. And his axe that he used in the show, which is really awesome. That's, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta switch out his hands. Yeah, his hands. This is not for, for these hands, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, switch out his hand. Very easy to do. What do you, which head do you think is better? Which should we use this I one? I like the sweet one, because yeah. he's so cute. He looks like a Gorgonite. Oh yeah. Love the detail on him, like his powderon and all that. Just like in the show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he comes with three blasters, his club, and um, his, um, yeah, his club right here. Love that club. 
like 1984 Jackal Man to like 2020 Jackal Man. Yeah, this one can club dance, you know what I'm saying? But this one just looks so much better and more posable. Club dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, it looks so cool. Even like with the axe, it just makes him look more like a Gorgon Knight to me. I know, right? He looks so sweet. I can't believe that he's a bad guy. It's so sad. To judge the mutants. I love Jackal Man too in the show. Yeah, I love his. Yeah, just. He's like, Ellen. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Okay, Ellen, now shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> but isn't that crazy, like, comparing? Yeah, they look nothing alike. I know. They have some similarities, but yeah, that, he looks more like how he did on the show. I love his feet, too. Look at those feet. Yeah, I was thinking all of them have really decent, have really cool feet. Like, you know. they're, they're really nicely done. I love that axe, the paint on there. Oh, wow, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Creamy. Appreciate it. Send me two bucks. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, look at that detail, you guys. I really can't thank Big Super 7 for releasing these figures and continuing the line that Mattel started. And Four Horsemen for sculpting these amazing figures and Big Bad Toy Store for uh, making these figures available to for all of us that missed out on the buying them from Super 7. I just love the paint apps on here. The fur on here. Uh, these are my dream Thundercat figures, you know? Yeah. I just love that. Yeah, this is such a great line. I, I can't wait. The, the next wave, um, oh, I would show you on my phone, but uh, it's... Um, It'll be Mumra when he's all like, you know, like he has a cool like horned um, helmet. He's like he's pretty much like this, but super muscular and big. And he and um, he'll have his cape becomes like giant wings. It's awesome. Oh, that's cool. And then so they um, really bring the element of Ra actually into him. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very like, Egyptian. Like the Eye of Ra mm -hmm. and Horus. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's, oh yeah. That's I w I'm interested in seeing that. Oh yeah, I should show you like an episode of Thundercats just for like. Fun. It, it, it's all on Hulu and stuff. I actually rewatched it. Um, I actually I think I watched it one night while you were sleeping, like when I came home from work. I, I just was like in the Thundercats mood because I think, yeah, because they finally shipped these. I was like, I was so excited. So I'm like, Thundercats. And oh, yeah, and, and they just put it on Hulu. So I was like, I'm going to go watch. I watched like a few episodes of, of season one. Um, but yeah, um, so we got two bad guys and two good guys. And of course, the biggest good guy of them all, the leader of the Thundercats, Lionel. Lionel, smart, fast, and skilled as a warrior. Lionel is the prince turned king of the Thundercats. A boy when they fled Thundera, their homeland, uh, he now, as a young adult, has. Oop, it's okay. Has the power. Um, he, he has you know, has the mind and temperament of a 12 year old so he has some maturing to do his exclusive weapon the sword of omens gives him the power of sight beyond sight and makes him the desire enemy of the evil mumra <laughs> yeah so here I let think, me i think most adults have the mentality of 12 year olds yeah definitely i i'm with you right there sweetie god i love you know, that you should always have the humility of a child see the world as a child i know right you know with pure of heart and pure of intentions oh yeah that's what jesus said exactly they're so cool so let's open up our final figure oh, this one means even more not just because it's just lying of the leader of thundercats i was supposed to get this figure four years ago and freaking maddie this Clicker. exact figure the, not oh the, this figure minus the head because what they did S Mattel originally had the license Super 7 uh, oh yeah that's right and then it got discontinued the, and then Super 7 took the license continued it and really released the original figures but gave them new heads new paint apps new, more accessories so this is for all of us that wanted these figures people that got screwed out of the figures like myself especially 
This is a figure I've long wanted for the last, I find I would never own this figure. I thought I was so heartbroken when the line got canceled, but we have at least four or five waves of these figures that are going strong. Four, the four waves are on pre, uh, th this is in stock right now, but this is wave one. And the other three uh, waves are on pre-order right now. So it's going strong. They're gonna go five, six, maybe set, who knows how many waves. I'm just nice. so happy as a Thundercats fan. And I'm really excited to finally open up this line now. Oh, <laughs> enjoy the smell. Oh, I love that smell. I know. Mm -hmm. I would be lying if it didn't smell good. <laughs> oh, yes. I definitely got the dad jokes even before I'm You're so funny. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week. Oh, yes. Thundercats. Oh. Oh yes, this figure is amazing, you guys. Just look at that hair. It's a lion's mane head. You know, it's lino. That and they're like all sculpted. I've noticed mm -hmm. to look like they're all blowing in the wind and yep. stuff like me right now. Yeah, very dramatic. I love it. And this is um, so the original figure from Mattel had this head. Yeah, he's then, pretty sexy too. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh man. Yes. In fact, Chitara um, actually when so. Um, it's on Hulu right now. You guys have Hulu watched the original Thundercats. Lionel, so... Smells good. Yeah, let me tell you a little story. He's sexy and he smells good. It, exactly. Oh my God. So, from the bio, Lionel... So, Thundercats is kind of like... It, it takes a little parallels to to the Jews in, in, um, when they when they left, uh, you know, to, to... They left their land and they... They're, the Thundercats are like immigrants. They they leave their planet. They're refugees. They leave their planet that blows up. Um, it happens in the first episode. They find a planet called Third Earth, which is a play on Earth, like here, the Third Earth. Um, and um, but the problem was is that it was light years away, and they had to go in suspension capsules, kind of like an alien, like with Ripley and everything, to keep them from aging, so they can make the trip. However. Their ship got damaged when they got attacked by the mutants, and Jaga, the oldest Thundercat, um, decided to sacrifice himself to to live as long as possible to fly them to Third Earth while they were in suspension capsules. Lionel was 12 years old when they were fleeing Thundera, and there was the, he the, Jaga said even though the suspension capsules slow down aging, some aging takes place. So he literally went through puberty in the suspension capsule. So even though he went in there as a 12 year old and came out as a as a man which is why he's got the mentality of a 12 year old exactly so and when chitara sees lino for the first time and they're saying like you become a real man and then she and she says i am so handsome too <laughs> so yeah yeah definitely even though it's weird because he's mentally 12 years old but he did age he is an adult but yeah, so the show is about him learning to become a leader. He's a kid and an adult. Kind of like a reverse number five. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so, and I really love the sculpting of the new head. That is so cool, you guys. I love the paint apps. I'm just so in awe of these right now. I just, I love it. It looks like, uh, just mm -hmm. amazing sculpting right there. Now, Lino comes with quite a bit of accessories. Before we get into his big ones, he comes also with the Book of Omens, a different color one. I think there was two Books of Omens. This is the Thundercats version. Like Mumra has his, I, I forgot, there was a whole storyline with the Book of Omens. It's it's about like the history of Thundercats and the power of the, the Sword of Omens. Kind of reminds me of the Mummy where there's the gold book and the black book. Exactly, it's pretty much like that, yeah. Which I really think that Emotep is actually the good guy in the movie mm -hmm. and he's just getting persecuted. Exactly. Dude is a whole was romantic mm -hmm. he's willing to bring about hell on earth just to get his woman back exactly that's a romantic in my opinion he just wants his woman hell yeah and his woman was up owned mm -hmm. she was property to somebody that probably was abusive and didn't love her oh i know right so poor emotep exactly so besides he comes with a whole bunch of hands he comes with a total of of Three pairs of hands. Now, Lino, if you know Lino, he comes with uh, his weapons, which are his claw shield. Now, they did they did the claw shield, like the toy and the cartoon. Uh, 
the toy was more like, well, yeah, the toy was more like, this is the 1985 toy, and it has like a furry one. So they have this really nice, this was like the Mattel one too, a nice furry claw shield, really nice detail. And you get two versions. You get one that you can also, you get, you get four versions of the claw Whoa. shield. This I is know. one that I was in the first plane with. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's a that's wow. Yeah. So you get you get two versions of the claw shield. You get the furry one and you get one that he can wear and one that he can put on his belt and hold it comes with a sort of omens that um he can't hold uh but it it, it stays in the claw shield. And then he comes with the more cartoon accurate one, which is nice and shiny and very awesome. And that one actually does come on the side right here and what's cool about the the cartoon acro one you can actually take out the sword of omens i believe you can <laughs> i think you can Ugh. hold on i can take this off here yep you can take out the Sword of Omens, and this is it in its dagger form. And then, of course... Oh yeah, you can take... I think you can... No, you can't take it out of this one. The the furry one. But it, it, there is one sculpted in there. And then he comes with the fully extended Sword of Omens. Where you can do, like, the Thundercat's hoe. which really has a nice Thundercats logo right there. Really nice paint on there. So so what do you think, sweetie? Do you think I know it would look better with the shiny one? Oh, wait, or the furry one? Ooh, the furry one's sexy. Oh, yeah. So we can put the furry one on there. The furry one originally came with the Mattel one. and they. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So you can take off the hand, <laughs> and then you can put in... Yeah, so you can have <sighs> this. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Oh, I know. We're almost done. And then you can put in this ham. Sorry, I'm so tired. Oh, it's all good. Um, and then you can put in... I stopped drinking coffee, so my body is adjusting to it. Oh, yeah. And then I OD'd on turmeric today. And then there you go. You can have Lino. I wish that the hands had the, uh, the yeah, it, it's still good. You can still do that. You have Thundercats. Oh! And finally, like, look at how far we come, you guys. So here, let me show. So while well, I'm going to show down the line. 1985, 2011 8-inch Bandai America, which is a, a great figure even though it's a, a weird scale, it's not the... And then they came with the six inch one, which was a better scale, but you know, has a more angry head. And then we go into that one. So yeah, this one's cool. Yeah, look, look at where we come from Linos, you know? Yeah, this one's really awesome. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think, is your favorite the 1985 Lino? The 2011 8-inch Lino from the the original cartoon, or the 6-inch uh, one, or the new Super 7 one. Obviously, this one <laughs> is our favorite. The hair. Mm -hmm. He's even got, like, detail on the crack of his butt where his underpants are. Oh, yeah. Well, his overpants, actually. They're not underpants. Oh, and by the way, you guys, um, I am selling like all these figures right here. These Linos, the vintage Panthro, the vintage Mumra, and the vintage Jackalman. So if you're interested in buying any of that, email me at seanbkbn.net or in, uh, email me on Facebook or Instagram. SeanXLong is my Facebook and Instagram. But yeah, we've come a long way, sweetie. The different versions of line now but yeah i'm so happy to finally have that figure 
I was supposed to have that figure four years ago and it got canceled on me. Oop. <laughs> is my hair up in your face? Oh, Sorry. it is all good. Sometimes my hair like has a mind of its own. It tries to choke me out in my sleep at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, really love it. Super 7 did an amazing job on these. But yeah. Ooh. So what are your favorites of this first wave? Mumra. Mm -hmm. uh, hands down. Yeah. That is... That is straight hemp. Oh yeah. I think this is an amazing first wave. I think if I had to rank them, um, I, I definitely would put, it's hard because they're all amazing, but if I had to rank them by my favorites, just in terms of figure and and my, my character, it'd be Lino, Mumra, Panther, or Jackal Man. Cause uh, mm -hmm. I don't even, I've never seen this cartoon. Mm -hmm. And if I'm judging them just by the action figures, yeah. it would be Mumra. Mm -hmm. That's Panthro. Mm -hmm. See, I really love him because yeah. he just he just makes me he brings back small soldiers in my childhood. That oh, was yeah. actually a good time in my childhood. Oh yeah, I really love him. I actually think that Panthro. Oh crap! It's between. See, I can't. Mm -hmm. Mumra is definitely my favorite hands down. Oh yeah, so good. Yeah, this is a great line, you guys. Um, I, I, I'm so happy to finally have these figures. I can't wait for wave two, wave three, four. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to complete my Thundercats team. Can't wait to get Chitara in wave three. That'll be awesome. Wave two will be Mumra. Oops, sorry. Mumra the Ever Living. So his more bigger one, Groon the Destroyer. Um, it'll be. Pumaira, which is the other female uh, uh, obviously of uh, Puma. I just love him. He reminds me of the Raise the Dead comics. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, and Wave 2 will also be uh, Tigra. And then Wave 3 will be Chitara, Slide, um, <laughs> um, Captain Cracker, and um, and uh, there's another Thundercat. Oh, Jaga. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh man. So I played with this cape and I bent it more in the back and yeah. stuff and made it more dynamic. Yeah. Just like your hair right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dynamic. Yeah. It's so cool. It's like our table right now is like so much 80s right now. And then we got 2099. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, that Mumra is so awesome. Yeah, he is. I love this king. The cape really puts it over the top for me, too. Like, Lino is one his, of my... His staff is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely a take on a, the staff of Anubis. For sure. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I know, right? This is my action figure. This ain't Sean's yeah. action figure. This is mine. Exactly. <laughs> this is like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've never even seen the cartoon, and I'm like, I want this toy. Oh, I know. I want to show you like the cartoon now, just because of the. Uh, so. <laughs> oh no! Oh, luckily, that was the old school ones. <laughs> your your hair is like <laughs> Mumra's cape right now. Sorry. It's My hair good. just wants to be close to you. It's I know, transcendent. Right? It really does have a mind of its own. Exactly. Your hair carries all your transcendence. Oh, yeah. Which is your transcendental thought as well as knowledge mm -hmm. that you obtained. And what transcendent knowledge is, is knowledge that you gather from the collective consciousness, not through reading books, not through life experiences. It comes straight to you mm -hmm. because we're all conduits and oh, we yeah. all possess an inner hair. And our hair is what keeps us tethered to all the elements. And sometimes my hair just wants to rub all up on you, sexy self. I know, right? I know. I appreciate <laughs> it. I don't mind that at all. Um, but yeah, I really love this, you guys. We got... Man, these figures are amazing. A lot of great accessories on them. You can get the whole wave right now for... Um, like, let's see. They are they retail for about uh, 50 bucks each on Big Bad Toy Store. Or you can get... Um, or for 45 45 eats, or you can get the whole way for 190 um, at Big Bad Toy Store right now. I think 190 or 180. I, 
I, I would check my phone, but it's uh, bigbadtoystory.com, link in the description, you guys. Um, we're going to answer a few questions before we head to bed. Yeah, one of the biggest things was they were unfinished. Most of the characters could barely hold their weapons, yeah. Yeah, maybe one day they'll show uh, Silverhawks. That'd be awesome. Have you pre-ordered the Mandalorian from Hot Toys? Um, yeah, the, the second version, not the first version, because I want the one with Baby Yoda. Um, let's see. What's your favorite food? <laughs> That's a good question. What's your favorite food, sweetie? My favorite food? Mm -hmm. In the whole world? Mm-hmm. It's a tough one because I eat a lot of food mm -hmm. and I make a lot of food. Oh yeah. But like my favorite go-to food is, um, I actually really like things like baked ziti mm -hmm. where it's just pasta and noodles and cheese. Mm -hmm. They just throw in a pot and then you bake it. So good. Oh yeah. So good. Oh man. My hair is kind of like, I it's kind of almost long enough to build a ponytail, but think it needs to grow just a little bit to be a full ponytail what are your thoughts on in motu origins oh um toy question so i like masters universe classics the motu origins are more like the original toys a little bit more articulated they're cool but i i'm i'll see what mattel's going to do with their uh multiverse figures or whatever they're doing next year so i, I want to i want them to be like four horsemen more articulated so the origins are cool but they're like if you like the old school. I've actually 80s. seen those and played with those. I thought oh, they were awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought they were a great tribute to the '80s toys. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. The Origins ones, like, they're cool and stuff. I, I mean, the the universe figures are like these, but for He-Man, you know. So. Oh, like, see, I would want that more for He-Man too. Exactly. Yeah, like I can, um, um, like I can, uh, yeah, like the He-Man here. Oh, actually, I'll bring it real quick. Here, um, what's the question you can answer while I do that? Um. Uh, can you show me the figures? Any questions for Heather real quick while I grab that real quick? Let's see if I, I'm going through all the stuff we missed. Does your know, a girlfriend know about Dragon Ball? There you go. Here's a question. <laughs> Answer if you know anything about Dragon Ball. If you don't, it's with me. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, when I was younger, my parents couldn't, my family couldn't afford cable. I grew up, um, raised a very gypsy life. And when I mean a gypsy life, I mean a gypsy life. I've traveled across country twice in a caravan. Um, we lived all over the place all mm -hmm. the time. But when I was younger, my sister's boyfriend at the time was in a dragon ball mm -hmm. and he used to love to draw them and stuff so i did get to not only see the shows and things because you would bring them over but i also got exposed to the comics mm -hmm. yeah the, or manga as they call it yeah exactly that's awesome yeah. and um i actually think it was like pretty great i had i actually had some figures i played budokai See, I'm not much of a video gamer, but I do love video games mm -hmm. like Budokai or Injustice. Oh, yeah. Those are like my kind of video games. Hell, yeah. Um, but yeah. These... Hey, man, is so sexy. Look at him. I know, right? Yeah, with that Prince Valiant. So this is, um, these were the ones that were based on a cartoon. They did ones that were more on the toy, but I like these ones because they looked like how they looked on the cartoon finally. Because if you guys didn't know, um, He-Man was a toy line first and they yeah. literally made a cartoon so the cartoon characters looked a little bit different from their toys they were a little less detailed that's why they have more simpler colors compared to the uh, the toys but I, I I'm so I always wondered that as a kid it's like why does my toy look a little different from my the cartoon but you just you, you still loved it regardless you know you said you're you sculpt dolls how did you get into that that's a great question Ian? Um, doll art is actually part of my heritage. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, I was raised gypsy. So my grandmother was a doll maker. She made those cloth dolls. Mm -hmm. She made the corner dolls, which are lifelike dolls of kids that look like they're up against a corner like this. And so I actually got into being a newborn doll artist in 2008. And 
before that, I would actually paint, repaint Barbie dolls and BJD dolls, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I put on the TV one time and there was this documentary about women who collect lifelike dolls from a company mm -hmm. called Ashton Drake. So I started buying those dolls and then stri stripping them of all their paint and hair and repainting them. And then when I realized that other women did it, it was a really small community back then. I did my research and I found out that um, a lot of these dolls were originally sculpted out of clay, which is also part of my heritage. Um, ancient Armenians, just like in the movie Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. they would sculpt babies out of clay and pray to the gods for a baby, for fertility. And I found it really fascinating and so I started doing it. I started buying sculpts from other artists first before I started sculpting. But it's kind of, it's branched out a lot since then. That's so awesome. So I've been actually making dolls since, these babies since 2008. But I've been, um, I consider it 2009 because it was late 2008. Mm -hmm. But That's awesome. Well, by the way, um, yeah, this is Skeletor. This is the Masters Universe uh, Classics um, cartoon Skeletor, which is my favorite. I love that. Me, I'll get you, He-Man. Uh, yeah, I have actually met the voices of Lino and Skeletor. He-Man, the, the original voice of He-Man, he's not done any public appearances because he, he's worried that he would disappoint fans because he, he doesn't look like He-Man, but you shouldn't ever feel that way because you're a voice actor. You're not meant to be a super-powered muscle man from a different planet. You know? <laughs> so, uh, John Irwin, we love you. We don't care if you don't look like He-Man. You gave you voiced them for like 60 episodes, so we love you, John Irwin. Uh, Larry Kenny, who voices Lino, amazing guy. I told him he's like a grandpa to me, and he made me feel so welcome. He said, we're friends on Facebook, and he, I love you, Larry. Um, but yeah, I was going to say He-Man and Lino, both sword-wielding leaders of their teams. Um, if you didn't know either uh, character, uh, based on looks and everything, who would you pick? See, I, I actually know He-Man. Oh, okay. I didn't really watch the cartoons until I was an adult, because um, mm -hmm. like my ex watched them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're, they are like really metaphorical and hella deep. Way deeper than what kids even thought they were. Oh, I know, definitely. So, I, I like this one, though. Oh, yeah, Lino. Yeah, this one's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. The Thundercats theme song is pretty amazing, too. It's like, Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Uh, I remember when I was really young, when I still was around my biological family, mm -hmm. um, my biological brother had these toys. Oh, nice. And I would play with them. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I we were definitely it, it's all I always played He Man and Transformers and GI Joes with my girl cousins, and I would play with their Barbies. I don't feel like toys should be meant for like yeah, just boys, boys, toys, or just girls. Or just girls. Like, yeah. why wouldn't girls like these characters? Why wouldn't and why wouldn't a little boy want to play with a, a Barbie or a baby doll? Yeah, bar you're gonna yeah. not everybody's. You know, gonna grow up to be a parent someday, but mm -hmm. I mean, parental instincts mm -hmm. are important. Oh yeah, definitely. Whether you're a boy or a girl. Exactly. I know. I'm um. Yeah, these playing with these toys with you just brings back a lot of happy memories. But when I was a little girl, obviously, I loved baby dolls. Mm -hmm. Babies were like my thing. Oh yeah. It's the only toy I ever really asked for or wanted. Oh yeah. I always had that one baby doll that was super special to me, and I only had that one baby doll because my family couldn't really afford much. Until that one was like crap, and then I'd get a new one. Right. Because um, I'm from a pagan family. We don't really celebrate Christmases and birthdays and things of that nature. Definitely. But um, I remember babies were very important to me. Oh, My yeah. My baby dolls, man. And mm -hmm. I had a couple buddy dolls. Mia. <laughs> yeah, that's a Skeletor figure. Mia. I'll get you, He-Man. By the power of... I making baby dolls. I know, right? By the way... <laughs> um, as you notice that the He-Man and Thundercats have a similar theme, and that's why they share the same bodies, what do you 
thing of the over-muscularized, pretty much homoerotic uh, symbolism in boys' cartoons of the 80s. I don't think that that's what they were going for. Mm -hmm. I think that they were going for an, an, like a, an atmosphere that you know boys could be mm -hmm. anything that they wanted to be yeah that they could be you know i see i don't buy into all of that where <laughs> barbies are supposedly super feminizing and mm -hmm. makes girls insecure about themselves that is so not true that is the lit when i played with my barbies that was the last thing i was thinking about was oh, yeah. i wish i looked like this barbie exactly so the whole point of playing with these is using your imagination and pretending with them, pretending that you're that character. Oh yeah, actually, so. the po the podcast which me and Heather are going to be starting pretty soon here. Hopefully, uh, this coming week, if not next week. Um, uh, one episode I wanted to do about He Man and even Lino, uh, because of what they mean so much to to gay boys, gay men. Uh, they're gay. They're gay icons. Uh, he Man, if you remember that cartoon, hey, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. I remember that when he's saying, What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Super Seven made a figure of uh, Prince Adam going out like that. It, it's actually a figure you could buy. Yeah, that, um, I, I have a lot of friends uh, who are gay that love He Man and they felt they felt so empowered and more. That's what it was welcome. about, was empowering, mm -hmm. you know, young boys. Because one thing, if you look at Prince Adam, he's very effeminate. He's wearing pink. He has a very high-pitched voice. Um, and th But he's still muscular. And then he come, brings out his sword, and he comes out with a tan. Like, you know, it, he, I don't know if they meant to do that. I, I've heard some different stories over the years. But He-Man was, like, kind of not only making you feel more empowered as a boy, but also makes you feel open to being... Who to you being are. who you are. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for yeah. with that. Yeah. And people act like it's an agenda. But the thing is, is you can't brainwash somebody into being gay. Yeah. That's... People are born that way. Yep. If Just somebody's like transgender, Gaga's they're born that way. Yep. Um, and I think that a lot of these were created by people who might have been closet at the time. Mm -hmm. Or you know, fantasized about being a big, strong man when they were younger. And there's yeah. nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, He-Man uh, was this, uh, a symbol not only to the gay community, but I also... I don't think it contributed yeah. to any toxic masculinity or any of no. that stuff. It, if anything, He-Man showed that it wasn't about just strength, but compassion and... Empathy. Empathy. And he always ended the shows with, like, a message yep. for kids. Exactly. About being good people. Yeah. Just having empathy. Yeah. And, like... I didn't watch that when I was younger, and I watched it as an adult, and I was like, wow, I'm entertained. Yeah. This is quality entertainment. Yep. This is more than just a show that was created to sell toys. Yeah. Yeah, he... One thing I, I give credit to so many 80s cartoons, even though they were... Blade, and and we'll, we'll do a whole episode that I could talk about this for days. Um, even though they were made to sell toys, they... The people do care about sending good messages to yeah, kids. Yeah, and the artistry was mm -hmm. beautiful. The background imagery, yeah. their whole, st all of them had these intricate storylines. Mm -hmm. Every single character has a very intricate storyline. Yeah, it's One, pretty. I like the He Man yeah, series. He, it was pretty dope. Oh yeah, He Man was amazing. Where they would take characters like Mecha Neck, who like his his toy gimmick was making his neck bigger, but they gave these characters so much depth and made them really cool even if they had those were originally just toys made to do something silly um and the toys were amazing i still love the classic he-man toys because they did stuff like power punch he-man with with caps and they would actually like smoke and stuff like that, that that's something that kids toys don't do to anymore yeah why don't yeah. they have those cap things anymore it's safety they, it, it, it burned kids uh, well, they, that, those are toys that you have to supervise your children for. And exactly. That's the problem. Is it, you got to crack down on parenting Oop. that kid's toys. I know. Exactly. Exactly. I remember having cap guns. We used to buy them at the freaking dollar store. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, you can't get nothing like that at the dollar store these days. Oh, I know. Seriously. But, um, yeah. I just absolutely love these characters. And it's so cool that, my, you know... The uh, Gen Xers and the Millennials, because that's who these were marketed to, was that generation. Because I'm, uh, we're Millennials. I, I'm 
on the offshoot. I'm 83. She's 88. I was and, born in 88, but mm-hmm. I don't consider myself a millennial because yeah. I was not raised in an American culture. Yeah, all. exactly. Exactly. It, she, I cannot ooh. be compartmentalized in any of those stereotypes. Exactly. You okay, He-Man? Oh, of course, he's okay. He's He-Man. <laughs> but, um, yeah. No, I um, it's really cool that um, my, you know, our generation, the 80s, 90s kids, that we're still keeping this stuff alive. I mean, the fact that these characters are... Yeah, because kids' programs nowadays are terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're... We, like, it's so sad, because I wish there was more things like He-Man available for children nowadays. Well, yeah, they're making new He-Man now. Uh, I didn't get to see that too. I was an adult, and I'm like, man, I wish I had this in my childhood. I know. These characters, like He-Man, Lino, Skeletor, Mumra, and stuff like that, like, even though the bad guys were the bad guys, I love the bad guys. Like, Skeletor and Mumra are two of the coolest-looking characters of all time. Coolest names, too. Skeletor. Yeah, Mumra is freaking awesome. Yeah. That's, like, my favorite character on the table right now. Yeah. Hands down. I know. I want to see the show. I know, yeah. Like, because of that figure, I need to see this. Exactly. Like, badly. I know, right? I know, we might actually uh, we see We should it. watch an episode before we go to bed. I know, that's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> it's on Hulu. We'll watch it right afterwards. Yeah, so we're going to actually, you guys, answer any last questions, and then we'll call it a day, because uh, me and Heather are going to do uh, our podcast, and we'll talk about stuff like this in our future shows. What's what's the thing on the ceiling? You mean the light? Or are you talking about the, the Marvel Legend figures? The the ceiling, there's just a oh, the light. I'm looking forward to the reaction figures for Jim and the Holograms. Nice. Yeah, they're making Jim and the Hologram. I remember Jim and the Holograms. Yes. They made that movie a few years back, but it wasn't as good. Do you watch football? Sometimes. My, my brothers are definitely more into football. Uh, we definitely love basketball. I like to enjoy football games in person. Yeah. With the world the way that it is, I haven't been interested in football this year. But yeah. when I do like football, I am a Giants girl. The blue thing on the corner? Which... And I do like baseball. Yeah. Also a Giants girl. Oh, yeah. And I love basketball. Total Lakers fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, which blue thing? I'm trying to think, like, on the ceiling, is there a blue thing? Uh, mm-hmm. Look for... Oh, oh, well, whatever blue thing we is did. Is this it? Are you talking about the Marvel Legend figures? Behind us? Yeah, the we showed those off first thing. They're the red... But it could be... If there's something, they think there's something on the ceiling, it could be the mm-hmm. light cascading. Yeah. What's up, Graphic Knight? Um, yeah, any, it's, it's the camera. Oh, are you talking about, um, I think what, hold on. I think they see Spider-Man. Yeah, I think, we, we did unboxing of this the other day, the Spider-Man Yeah, he's standing right next to where we have the camera. Yeah, so you've probably seen his hand or something like that. Earlier in the video, you Mm -hmm. could see his web and it looked like it was coming at me. Yeah, (laughs) we had to move it so it wasn't like on Heather the whole time. Yeah, because it was like that in the beginning. It looked like it was shooting at her, or he was shooting at her. Miguel loves Heather, though, especially because he's voiced by Oscar Isaac. Oh, Oscar Isaac. <laughs> yeah, Oscar Isaac. Yeah. He could totally play um, Miguel O'Hara's Spider-Man. I would love that. Um, but yeah, any last questions, you guys, before we get going? Because I have to pee, and I want to... We can watch some Thundercats after this. Um... Anything you want to promote, sweetie, before we uh, get going? Um, vote. Yes. Get out there and vote. Heather seems like the perfect match for you. The same energy. Aw, thank you, Sab. <laughs> I, I, yeah, thank we you. Do. I appreciate that. That's why we were so excited to do a podcast together. Uh, we're definitely going to be, it's going to be called um, Pop Political Culture. Um, so it's going to be talking about the correlation of pop culture and politics and how they're, the way that people talk about things, the uh, with politics and pop culture are very similar, how pop culture and politics are very, uh, you know, they intertwine way more than people think. Um, and oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, there's so much politics in things that we love. Literally, like Star Wars Episode One is about politics. It's it's what started, it's what a democracy becoming a dictatorship. And that's what the whole Star Wars um, prequel slash original trilogy is about democracy even um had me natalie Portman's character says and this is how democracy ends with thunderous applause when he literally turns the republic into a um into an empire 
And that's what happened with Hitler and everything, you know? And so it's a lot of correlation of, of war. Star Wars is literally about war. So it's like, yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got, if you guys have enjoyed our live shows, we're going to be doing a lot of that. We, yeah. um, to, to promote that, we, we're hoping to get an episode, we're going to do an introductory episode. We'll hope to get it out this week. If not, I'm still trying to set it up with the, the logistics of getting it out on Spotify, iTunes, podcasts, and it'll be free, of course, um, to listen. We are going to, I have a Patreon and, um, the Patreon will be for like any, things towards the podcast and what i'm gonna do for patreon supporters uh, we'll do it we're, it's gonna be also free on youtube we're gonna do a, we're gonna have it so you can listen to it on spotify and itunes but we're gonna have it film on youtube only exclusively on youtube where you can watch us talk and if you don't care about listening to the podcast you can watch us and we'll try to um, like you know we'll do some stuff you can only see on the podcast versus listening to it so well, yeah, even, like sometimes I might be doing the podcast dressed up as Star Sapphire yeah, or exactly. like Spider Woman. Yeah, you never know. So yeah, you'll see. So <laughs> yeah, I do cosplay. Yeah, I um. We we cosplay together. I actually helped get other into cosplay five years actually, ago. We um, actually have pictures mm -hmm. of cosplaying together. Yes, yeah, she like did. That. Ray and I did Kylo Ren. And how funny during that time they weren't a couple, but then they became a couple. Bro, <laughs> I like was going through my Instagram yeah. and I found that picture of you dressed up as the joker yeah. and i was in my scrubs because i was yeah. in i was in medical school at the time yeah and i was in my scrubs like holding a baby yeah because i wore that to a con yeah literally just to go see you yeah because i was crushing really bad oh yeah that was, <laughs> that was almost six years ago i know it's so in, crazy in may we'll have known each other for six years i know that's that crazy a few months away i know that's so crazy so crazy <laughs> yeah i know how things have changed I mean, in a good way, though. I'm really excited. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so um, um, a couple of important things. So if you guys are interested in supporting the podcast or future videos, um, you, right now it's just at a dollar a month. And um, also, if you're a Patreon supporter, uh, um, I will put, you know, the thank you on all the Patreon. I haven't done it on the live shows, but when I do, because the podcast, the video podcast will be edited. Um, and, and, oh, also Patreon supporters will do like fan questions for Patreon supporters. We'll do a fan segment um, at the end. So um, I'm going to set that up. But right now it's just for a dollar a month. Um, no, no, um, no pressure to join. It'll still be free for all you guys. It's just for like like the po the Patreon people yeah, get it early. Help, and it will help keep our podcast going. Yeah, and exactly. It just helps with with everything because you invest a lot of time into it exactly so link is in the description it's patreon.com forward slash sean next long but we'll definitely i might even make a separate one for that but or i, I just will turn that into yeah we want to generate enough money to like have equipment and stuff so i can yeah. have my own microphone yeah because things like that we're going to share a mic at first but hopefully with the patreon support and just uh the video support on youtube will uh, be able to afford that pretty soon it, it's not too much to get a microphone but it is a little costly yeah it's costly when you have you know we have three pets and, yeah and yeah, household that. and yeah so you know, they, um, they need things too exactly um yeah and then um yeah make sure to follow us on all our social she's fallen angel nursery on instagram as well as immortal child on facebook um yeah like it's um Oh yeah, I'll make sure to put the link. I forget to put it on, update that on the YouTube. I'll put that in the description. Oop. And um, mine is this all Sean X Long on, especially on Instagram and Twitter. My most active. I'm also on Facebook. Um, and like I said before, I'm selling uh, these guys, all the vintage figures, all the different linos. So this one is it worth a bunch of money, like the He-Man ones are. Oh, um, this one, um, I. Um, I, I have the sword and his shield. It did come with a, it came with a thing you put in there and made his eyes light up. I think I have it somewhere, but if I can't find it, I'll, I'll sell for cheaper. At, at least I got the sword and his claw shield. Those are the important things. Um, I also got uh, the vintage 85 Panthro, and I um, also got the vintage Mumra that came with the um, his tomb place that it was like a birthday cake toy. i know it does it was a it was a mill away figure too so you could either get it with the play set or you had to collect a bunch of figures collect those little upc codes and send it out yeah so um 
yeah, you guys, if you're interested in that, either email me at sean at bkbn.net or you can message me on my Instagram or Facebook, which is seanxlong. Because um, I don't think you can message people on YouTube anymore, which, yeah, I don't I, I don't mind that. Um, usually, the YouTubers just put their email. Yeah, I'm anyway. so glad that I don't get messages on YouTube anymore because yeah, you know, I'm too. a doll artist and I make all sorts of babies, vampires, zombies, you know, fallen angels. I prefer not to call them demons yeah. because, um, you know, demons, I have spiritual beliefs about them. They are not fallen angels. Mm -hmm. And so I would get emails from like religious extremists telling me that I'm going to burn in hell and like all this weird stuff. I know, it's Conspiracy ridiculous. Conspiracy theorists telling me I'm, you know contributing to the Illuminati it's just weird I know so I'm just I'm glad I'm not getting bullied on YouTube anymore <laughs> I know yeah and guys please um uh comments are always great on YouTube but what and this goes back into the pop political culture thing what we're talking about when you watch YouTube videos unless the people are being hateful in the videos which you should report them anyway um if they're just saying they like a movie or don't like a movie or they are Democrat or Republican, don't be spreading hate on YouTube. Uh, people can have different opinions. Having an opinion different from you has no reason to bully someone to, to uh, changing their opinion. Yeah, um, and stop leaving comments about physical appearances too, yep. unless they're positive. Yeah, exactly. I don't appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. Seeing people saying that, you know, Sean doesn't look good or he looks unhappy and stuff. Bro, he's tired. Yeah. We're, this man is a hardworking person. Yeah, I You know? This is one Outside of, my... of YouTube. Mm -hmm. This is just one of his jobs. Mm -hmm. He's hardworking. He actually works midnights. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're sitting here when we're already pretty exhausted mm -hmm. to do these live streams and, and mm -hmm. say hi to you guys. So oh, yeah, because I love you guys. We're tired. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not unamused or uninterested. Mm -hmm. And he's just tired. He's yeah. not unhappy. Oh, yeah, I love doing these, and, guys. you know... I like this is one of my days off and I literally spending it to do a live show with you guys and like after working five days in a row so yeah I I if things were like they were back on YouTube you, you know you guys like if I could put all my energy on YouTube or the podcast or anything maybe it'll happen again one day you never know um, then yeah I would you you wouldn't see me so tired and stuff maybe a little bit tired because that's you know like Phil uh, uh, like Philip DeFranco you know just YouTube can be very exhausting, especially when yeah. you're doing um, political stuff or even pop culture stuff. Talking about pop culture can be exhausting, I know. Um, when you have to deal with Star Wars fans or um, a, lot of, a lot of fandoms are, are, are just as bad as how Republicans and Democrats hate each other. It's, um, yeah, and like, you know, I oh, thank you, Seth. You know, get up in the morning and take care of the pets. Yeah. And I work eight hours. Yeah. I work at home, but I still, I bust my ass really hard. Yeah, she's cooking all day. I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those, I'm a homemaker. Mm -hmm. And, and a businesswoman. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she literally does both. She's like working, making her dolls while still vacuuming and taking care of the pets and while I'm sleeping. And then like I wake up, I take, the first thing I do is make sure my, our dog is getting exercise. I don't even eat breakfast when I wake up. I literally wake up, wash my face, brush my teeth. I'm like, hey, sweetie, how are you doing this morning? That's why okay. I want to have, start having more leftovers and things in the yeah, fridge for you exactly. to be able to eat something. Oh, yeah, exactly. When you get up. Like, I literally go get coffee, take them to the park, go get gas. And, yeah, it's literally like a routine of just, like, like we, we do have fun. We have our couples time. We Well, after we, we make sure our dog is okay, like, you know, Chewy, um, like we'll, we'll go watch a show or a movie or uh, my dad lives nearby and we invite him we have movie night and yeah um, I made we had a dinner night with with dad today yeah right before we did the show and my dad uh, was really cool it's like oh yeah you guys got to do your show I'll let you do your thing I'm like oh thanks and uh yeah so he understands he knows I've been doing the YouTube thing he yeah. loves it sometimes we just have big days like tomorrow we're driving to Sacramento mm -hmm. I have a, I'm gonna be modeling all mm -hmm. day yeah you know we, we have several jobs between the two of us. Oh, yeah. And we're homemakers. Oh, so, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, it's a, in the <laughs> ideal world, um, we could focus on some things and not have to worry about others. But, you know, it's like that. We're very fortunate. We're, like, you know, just paid rent today. Very lucky that I'm able to, between the both of us, we're able to pay our rent. We're able to have food. We're able to, uh, you know, 
have internet and cable. I mean, not cable, but you know, Netflix and Disney Plus and Hulu and stuff. That's all you, that's really, a, need that's all you need, really. Cable's anyway. gonna be obsolete. Pretty yeah, soon, exactly. Like watch. I know. I, I I'm so surprised that cable. I think really for the sports aspect is the only yeah. reason cable. Sports is the only reason that cable is even a thing anymore because everything. And would, like what's going, what's happening with sports with all this COVID stuff going mm -hmm. down, anyways. Like, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. But um, yeah, so this <laughs> last few things, you guys. So yeah, just make sure you want to support our podcast and YouTube, uh, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. Thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for these amazing, amazing figures you can hold Mumra. Oh, I love Mumra. He's so yes. cute. Yes. Thundercats. Oh. I love him. Yeah. And even for these amazing Spider-Man figures, which we might open, we might not. They're so nice. You can get these right now at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. If you buy things through my affiliate link, it really helps out for Big Bad Toy Store will send me more figures. So it really helps out the channel in that regard. Um, and also, um, yeah, follow uh, Heather Fallen Angel Nursery. On angels. Instagram. Yeah, Fallen yes. Angels. I'm so sorry. Fallen, Fallen Angels, angels nursery. nursery on Instagram. And then um, The Immortal Child on um, Facebook. And if you're interested in her amazing dolls, please hit her up um, uh, through Instagram. You can actually, and also support, uh, please be informed of what's happening in Armenia right now. You can follow me and Heather's Instagrams for that. Um, yeah, because please be aware of what's going on around the world outside of just the United States. Because, you know, whether you, there's so many people like, whether it's like my girlfriend or you know, Oscar Isaac or um, Cher. Cher, Kim Kardashian and all these people that you adore. So many people you don't realize are Armenian or Armenian American. So yeah, if you really care about them and what they've done for your entertainment and, and culture, uh, pop culture, then pl please like be informed what's going on in Armenia right now. Definitely, if you want any information about that, um, uh, what do you think is the best way to be informed of uh, Heather? to just research it mm -hmm. honestly because the media is not covering it mm -hmm. we want the media to cover it which is why we're trying to raise awareness for it mm -hmm. we're trying to bring attention to it because this is not a war between two countries this mm -hmm. is a continuation of the armenian genocide yeah we don't have many people left in our entire race mm -hmm. there's less than three million dispersed worldwide yeah um there's only two million in armenia itself mm -hmm. And, you know, we need to stop aiding these people in yeah, genocide. Exactly. It's, it's a very serious and very dire situation. Exactly. And if you guys have Netflix, please watch the movie The Promise, which stars Oscar Isaac and Christian Bell. So right there, Pope Dameron and Batman. But they, um, it's about the Armenian genocide. True story. Um, if you, it's... Um, yeah, a very informative movie, a, 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 an amazing movie. Well, bringing the tears, so beware of that because it's based on a true story. Um, yeah, so please check out The Promise on Netflix, an amazing movie. Um, yeah, because Heather's birthday is when the um, Armenian, um, in the, like uh, when they escaped. Um, so Brenda. my birthday is actually on the day that Armenians escaped mm -hmm. from the genocide and were rescued by the French. Mm -hmm. And that's how my grandparents from Armenia actually came mm -hmm. to America yep. was they were rescued last minute mm -hmm. by the French and a lot of people actually died mm -hmm. during that that last day even and not many family members survived yeah exactly. 95 percent of my family was completely murdered and my last name is about to be extinct that's how serious the situation is oh I know that's what inspired Hitler yeah so the Turks during the Ottoman Empire when they are exterminating Armenians literally taught Germany everything that they know about genocide and yep. um, they were actually receiving aid from Germany and something that Hitler actually said was well if they forget the Armenians then they'll forget the Jews yeah and then he openly discussed about how nobody talks about the annihilation of the Armenian people anymore and what a lot of people don't know either is that the swastika was actually not a symbol used to hate other races outside of Armenians and Jews. Mm -hmm. The swastika was actually an ancient Armenian symbol mm -hmm. which represented the eternal sun wheel called the Advarank. Mm -hmm. 
and what the Advaronic stands for is eternity. And so they took our symbol and they reversed it, which means extinction. Yep. So that flag was used to exterminate people who originally came from ancient Armenia, which included the Jews. Yeah. So it wasn't just the Jews. It was hate towards that entire surrounding area. Oh, yeah. I know. So, yeah, definitely watch The Promise. It'll get you more informed. And definitely um, me and Heather's uh, Instagrams really provide a lot of information to um, other Instagram accounts that will teach you a lot of what's going on currently in Armenia. Yeah, you can follow the um, the Armenian Assembly of America, mm -hmm. the Armenian Assembly, the Armenian Film Society. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information out there, but we have to use social media to get the word out right now yep. because a lot of news coverage, a lot of people don't care, and that's pretty sad. Yeah, and if you want to help spread that awareness, please share like a red square on um, Instagram or Facebook. Um, Use and, the hashtag peace for Armenians. Yep. And just like really keep that. I know there's a lot going on, especially with COVID and the president having COVID and a whole whole lot of things going on. But uh, please think about what's going on in the world, especially with Armenia. They're amazing people, amazing culture, and one of the mo more ancient cultures, too, that has had so much hardship and just like Jews. And yeah, it's it's been. It, 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 if you want, it sets a rich history and it sets a tragic history too and um, Armenia is a big part of America too with so many refugees coming here so uh, definitely if you want to uh, support please um, put the Red Square Peace for Armenians hashtag um, yeah and what's the, the promise for a good education about what happened and why it's been an ongoing thing even though 105 years later yeah, and it was in the Armenian genocide of 1915 was actually a continuation of a genocide which took place before that. Mm -hmm. The Armenian people have faced um, slavery, mm -hmm. persecution, mm -hmm. genocides, and um, relocations from their homelands for 9,000 years. It's crazy. Yeah, so definitely, you guys, like it means so much to us if you could do that and make sure to vote um november 3rd my birthday so um if if you're if if you're 18 and over please register if you're still able to i know today was the last day for a lot of so i hope you are registered i please vote whether it's by mail or in person if you can do it safely please wear a mask please stay uh six feet uh, away from people social distance uh quarantine from yourself if you have any symptoms and we gotta try to work together to keep this uh, uh yeah because we're going on a quarter of a million deaths here in america yeah. and that's just simply not okay yeah we've lost more people from COVID than in world we war one be worrying about when you know places are going to be opening up yeah it's like we need to have more empathy and compassion that quarter of a million people have been have died in america yeah. from this yeah, movies being delayed movie theaters being closed concerts all that stuff as much as we miss it what matters right now is getting everything under control until there's a, a, a safe vaccine out there, wearing masks, keeping things where COVID is non-existent. We can get to that point, but we all have to do our part. So please wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance, only go places that you need to. Keep your circle very small and tight. Make sure everyone gets tested if they do anything like I, um, yeah, just yeah. do whatever you can. And testing is free for so many places. So. Um, don't be like our president to actually take this seriously because um, yeah you don't want to get COVID like our president okay guys well we're gonna um, get going now I think um, that was it for everything can you sign swastika was an Indian sign no it was an ancient Native American symbol yeah exactly so yeah you but, definitely need to research that if that's what you think yeah definitely definitely um, this is a part of ancient Armenia that existed before India was even was even there when people were just indigenous and still worshiped the sun. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So that's the thing about people not knowing about Armenia mm -hmm. is a lot of cultures get credit for things that existed in ancient Armenia mm -hmm. long before other people adopted them exactly. and their beliefs. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, make sure you guys do your research. Follow those Instagrams we're talking about. 
uh, Watch the Promise on Netflix, starring Oscar Isaac and Christian Bell. Amazing movie about the Armenian genocide. It's definitely, it's based on a true story and it's not a happy, I mean, there, there's some light onto it, but it, like I said, it's a tragic historical event. It's like watching Schindler's List, you know? <laughs> it's don't expect it to be a happy movie. Um, but there is some beautiful happy moments in there. So yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful movie. Oh, I know, me too. So, okay, you guys, you guys mm -hmm. have a wonderful night. Uh, Patreon.com for slash Sonic Song. Thank you to Big Bad Toy Sir. Uh, link in the description to get all these figures and follow us on our Instagrams. Um, like us on Facebook and uh, Sean Long and Heather saying live long and love life. Well, I love you guys and have a good night.